exact same thing is going to kind of take place. We're looking at, again, our first and top terms. So therefore, um, again, let's just look at limit as x approaches infinity of my function f of x. In this case, we're going to have negative 2x over the square root of 9x squared. Right? Now, when we're, that's not equal to, that's just what we're approaching. So when we go ahead and evaluate, we're going to have negative 2x over the square root of 9 is 3, and then that's the absolute value of x. Right? So what you guys can see is now this approaches negative 2 thirds. Negative 2 thirds is basically going to be where we are approaching. Correct? But now let's think about this. As we're going to positive and positive values, this is going to approach negative 2 thirds. So the limit as x approaches infinity is just going to be negative 2 thirds. And if I wanted to go ahead and approach limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x, again, we're looking at the same thing, negative 2x over 3 absolute value of x. But now, look at this. What happens when I put in a negative? When I put in negative and negative values, I have a negative over another negative. Well, negative times a negative is? positive over the absolute value of a negative, which is positive. So you guys can see that this is now going to go to positive 2 thirds. OK? Do you guys see how that kind of works? All right. So what I'd like to do is just kind of take a, if you guys want to go ahead and plug that into your calculator, 